Angelina Jolie romantically linked to Cambodian filmmaker. It's been 16 months since Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt announced their separation, and this week the actress found herself at the center of new romance rumors. It was suggested that the star had started dating Cambodian filmmaker and lyricist Prachlai, but according to People magazine, the rapper is just a friend. The publication further stated that Angelina isn't dating anyone and won't be for a very long time with her focus solely on her children. Angelina and Pratch are thought to have been introduced through Lao Gun, the human rights activists and author behind the book, First They Killed My Father, the inspiration for Angelina's Netflix movie. Angelina, 42, made a glamorous return to the spotlight last week, as she stepped out for the Golden Globes, accompanied by her 14-year-old son Pax. The actress is also the mother to Maddox, 16, Zahora, 13, Shiloh, 11, and 9-year-old twins Knox and Vivian, with Brad. The former couple confirmed their separation in September 2016, and at the end of 2017, Angelina spoke about their decision to make a film together, less than a year before their split. The Maleficent star wrote and directed by The Sea, in which she co-starred with her husband and during an interview on the Hollywood Reporters Awards Chatter podcast, she concluded it may not have been a good idea. She explained, I wanted us to do some serious work together, and I wanted to see him do that kind of work. So I thought that it could be a good way for us to communicate. And I think in some ways it was. And in some ways we learned some things. But there was a heaviness during that situation that carried on. Alluding to their relationship, she added, Things happen for different reasons. You know, why did I write that exact piece? Why did we feel the way about it we did when we made it? I'm not sure. Brad, meanwhile, previously spoke about the couple's split in a frank interview with GQ, saying, If you love someone, set them free. Now I know what it means, by feeling it. It means to love without ownership. It means expecting nothing in return. It doesn't mean expletive all to me until you know, until you live it.